Our video by Black Unicorn Fan Fictions. Kindly do not copy and read the disclaimer carefully. I fell on couch. I am tired of living. Then stop wasting the oxygen. Why can't you just shut your mouth? Will I get paid for it? You aren't getting paid for barking either. It is calming down my soul. Stop it both of you. Mom, I understand people do mistakes. But you did a crime. Pointing at Yungi. After having me, she thought she can create another masterpiece. But I feel sorry for you, Mom. Mom banged her fist on table. Do not even think to come back here or next weekend. I won't think. I will directly come. What happened? I can't even attend any family functions. Our relatives ask me when Yungi and Vayana are getting married. Why can't people just mind their own businesses? Because not everyone has their own business. I am sure you both will die single. Yungi, my close friend's daughter. No. At least see her pick. Short the pick. Sugar's system got hand. Beautiful. What's her name? Jung Hobina. She is a jewelry designer. And our Yungi is a gold digger. They both are perfect for each other. Sugar glared at her. Gold digger? You fought with me over a $3 chain. It was more expensive than your existence. So, what do you think? As he said earlier, he can't think. What about Vyan? Whose life are you thinking to ruin after setting up him with her? Joan Jungkook. What? My cheeks turned red and heartbeat started twerking. He is my CEO, childhood enemy, crush, brother's best friend. I can't let this happen. Oh, you are so protective. I can't see Jungkook's life getting ruined in front of my eyes. I won't invite you in my wedding. Seems like you both are happy with my choices. Suga cleared his throat and started avoiding eye contact. I know you will choose the best for me. I am going to sleep. He ran away. Being a good doctor, how can I say no to you? You always say no to me. I, I think I should sleep now. She ran away. I'm a genius. Next day, Jungkook's family came to our house to discuss about the marriage and stuff. I am avoiding eye contact with him because I may burst into laughter because of shyness. Currently, me, Jungkook and our respective mothers are sitting on the dining table. His father went for a walk with mine. Yungi went to meet Hobina in a restaurant. Suddenly, I felt a hand on my thighs making me flinch. Are you okay? Yeah. I poked a fork on Jungkook's hand. He hissed in pain. Are you okay? Do you need something? Tissue? Brain? Tomato sauce? I always liked Vyan. I think Vyan is straight. That's why we want you to, to get married. Jungkook exhaled heavily. I never saw her in that way, but I can marry her if you want i scoffed after hearing his jamless words one day he got jealous of my close male friend and kept on bad mouthing him well i don't want to have a forced marriage if jungkook doesn't want to marry me it's a no from my side too understandable jungkook we will never pressurize you to do something yesterday you forced me to remove all the namjoon's posters from my room shut up So it's final. No, I I think um, it will be best for the friendship of our families. Our families will be close even if we won't get married. So don't worry about that. Junko clenched his jaw. Yeah, I want to marry her. Mine smirked in satisfaction. I need some time to think. Junko widened his eyes. What? That's fine. You should take your time. One week. Mm -hmm. Let me go and do the dishes. I should sell my dishwasher. You said something? I said let me help you. I am so happy. Ruko zara, sabar karo. Next day, I am silently sitting in the conference room. Jungkook is barking on everyone. Wow, how amazing our married life would be. Because of his short-tempered nature, he will yell at me like this daily. Then he will have to sleep on couch. 
The king's sized bed will be all mine. Miss Wyan, I flinched. Sorry, sir. Can you daydream later? This is a serious matter. He said something harsh. I froze on my spot. I, he cleared his throat. Meeting is over. Wyan started leaving. You can't leave. I stopped and started looking at the floor with a mad face. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. Bowed down and left. Five hours later. I have been working for five hours straight without even taking a break. I didn't even remove my eyes from laptop for once. This never happened to me before. I am a very hard working and professional person. How can I do such a mistake? Poor Wyan. Mr. John got extremely mad at her. Wyan, whom were you fantasizing about? Maybe Mr. John? Leah started laughing like a mad horse. We should gift her a mirror. Save that money for your therapy. Oh, someone is getting mad. For once I thought there is something going on between you and Mr. John. There is no comparison between their worlds. She can't have him, even in her wildest dreams. Um, who is Min Wyan? That's me. He gave her a bouquet of roses. Here. Oh, thank you. But who sent it? He just asked me to say, I am very sorry. I don't have more details about that person. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, tip? Sure. Gave $69 to him. Eyes were about to fall in the bouquet. Thank you. He ran away. What's happening? Who sent this? All the girls in the office. This is so beautiful and big. Vyan, you are so lucky. Thank you, everyone. Well, my BF sent it for me. We had an argument this morning. I thought you like Mr. John. Try to use this brain in work. Evening. I came out of the office building and saw Jungkook's car. He signaled me to come towards him. I looked around and sat in his car. I knew it. How can she? I can't let this happen. Yes. He is mine. Excuse me? What? I love him. You love every other rich man. Find someone else. He's mine. Leah scoffed. You already have 10 BFs. I will leave all of them for him. Back off beach. You back off. I think you should stop creating noise pollution and grab each other's throats to solve this matter. So intelligent. How lucky I am to have you. Uh, Miss Yoonji, back off. She's mine. Okay, but I'm straight. Whatever. Meanwhile, Wyan said silently. Jungkook forwarded hot chocolate to her. Thank you. I'm sorry for the morning. I shouldn't have raised my voice over you. It was my fault. I should have paid attention. Still, I yelled at you in front of many people. I will apologize to you in front of them tomorrow. You better watch your mouth before barking on me. She started rapping. And she said it was her fault. You could have talked politely. That's why I am apologizing. Wyan rolled her eyes. Sorry. He made a sad pout. CEO of Faltu ki company is behaving like a child. Because his fiancé is immature. 